Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at uh, one of the features that has been added to the most recent patch for command. I'm running uh, build 1243.5 at this time. It's called the Tiny Update and it had a couple little patches that kind of came after it to fix a couple things. There are definitely some bugs out there as far as uh, things that they're kind of well working out and um, like I said, but what I thought I would do is I take a couple moments to share one of the features that I think is a really, really great that they took from the professional edition and they finally brought over to the commercial version. And that's the fact that missiles behave like missiles. And I know you're sitting there going, now all the missiles always behave like missiles. And it's actually a little more complicated than that. And so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to grab my little F-16 of uh, Justice here. Uh, we'll go pop this one up here. We'll go ahead and uh, hold fire. I don't want him to attack anything on the ground without my permission. And the reason I'm doing this is you'll see in a minute. But um, by the way, we can do this now. I'm right clicking. Um, I really wish there's a checkbox where you could turn this on and off because um, when I do things like this, because I want to do a very, very aggressive course like this. Oh, let me move them out. Oh, that, 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 that. I really hope they uh, change that and make that optional because I really want to right click to move the map. But if, did, you, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Um, I'm sure they'll uh, be able to fix that soon. But anyway, on to work here. So what do I mean by the missile model change? Well, missiles now have a burnout. So in the real world, when missiles fire, and I can put together a really, really basic little demonstration of this over in Simple Rockets if you want to see it in action. But basically what happens is you fire the missile, it runs its motor for not a long time, and that burns out, and basically all the energy it accumulated during that climb is going to be the energy that it has to continue traveling to the target. Uh, usually this is limited by the stall speed of the missile, or it's going to be limited by, you know, what the battery life or something like that is of that particular missile. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go annoy this SA-2 here. Um, I'm getting well within range here, and normally, of course, I'd be firing that harm off and everything because I'm sure it's going to want to inconvenience me. Uh, oh, obeying MCON, manual edition, manual edition disabled. Interesting. Ah, oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, this is a new fun thing to play with, by the way. Yeah, if you haven't messed with this, you're messing out. So I'm going to set this to yellow status, and I'm going to close that one right here. And what's going to happen is that yellow status, if I go to his MCON now, he's yellow, you can actually decide exactly what the different modes are. So I can do use custom presets, I can do continuous, I can do intermittent. The intermittent, by the way, is amazing. This is for another day. So I'm just going to leave it on continuous for now. I'm going to go ahead and I notice we're in yellow code here. I don't think that's going to turn him on still. Come on, man, turn on, turn on. Ah. All right, so I got to play with this and I'll play with it a little more. But what I'm going to do is I'll flip this to a continuous. I'll go ahead and ignore my orders here. I'm just going to order him right up to active radar. There we go. That should acquire that F-16, no problem. Up oh, there he is. F-1. Oh, look, we have a little crosshair. Now check that out. Click right there, and now we get to watch uh, this actually in action. So like I said, there's a couple new things we're going to have to kind of learn about as we do. Whoa, oh, my gosh. Ah, <laughs> that's how we move the map, man. That's how we move the map. Don't make the, the button to make us go places. Also, like how you can deselect units now. So like if I click here and click over here, you can deselect it. That's a nice touch. But uh, this business, oh, I'm going to move the map. Ah, um, they'll fix it eventually, I'm sure. All right, so we're coming in here. At any moment, uh, we're about to get popped by uh, a couple of SA2s here. And you go, oh, pause, sweet. Nice. I can show you what this looks like in action now. So let's go switch our red team real fast. We'll go ahead and grab this SA2. Okie doke. So take a look at our speed here. So our speed here is that we're picking up to about 1400 knots. Uh, right now we're probably on the burner motor. So what's going to happen is we're going to keep going up. That F-16 is going to see it any second. Of course, you're sitting here going, why is the F-16 not maneuvering? The reason the F-16 is not maneuvering is because he just acquired those missiles. What he's going to do normally is instead of beaming the missiles like we used to, he's actually going to do a turn and burn. It's called exhausting the missile. Watch this. He's going to turn himself around and jam his afterburn at full blast and run away. Anybody who's played any flight simulator, um, combat flight simulators, knows this strategy extremely well. That often the best way, again, I didn't tell him to do this, he's doing this completely on his own, is to simply run the missile out of energy. Now, speaking of energy, if I click on this missile right now, it's actually slowing down very rapidly. Uh, the reason it's slowing down is because it's actually stopped its rocket motor. So now, as it's pursuing my F-16 here, it's um, basically the dense air here is sucking all the energy out of that missile. Missile, and the F-16 is basically trying to outrun a missile as it's slowing down. Now, really, really, really clever pilots, what they'll do is they'll actually pitch up now. Do you see how the uh, missile's at about 30,000 feet? So one of the things you can do as a pilot is you can actually dive to try to get to the thicker air. But of course, when it dives, this thing takes advantage of gravity. Now, notice my missile now is down to 965, and it's still chasing after my F-16 here, who's running. Again, it's called exhausting the missile, and I always find it hilarious because if you look at the maximum range of this weapon... 
Um, how on earth were we able to fire a shot that far? That's uh, going to be a question. A lot of times they'll self-destruct or something. But notice that has a massive gameplay impact because now air-to-air -air fighting, having a missile that has a very, very long sustainer motor is now going to give you a massive edge in range. So let's go ahead and uh, annoy this guy. Now, now I'm annoyed. Now I'm annoyed. Come get some. So we're going to go fire my, uh, my fan song here. Uh, anybody who's familiar with the Harm missile knows the trajectory it takes. It's going to climb very, very, very high, and then it's going to basically drop, uh, depending, of course, on the range that you launch a Harm, and again, depending on the version of the Harm missile. But what's so cool here is that normally, okay, so it's going to do a straight trajectory. Normally, one of these is going to do one of these, uh, this little lofting action, but what it'll do is it'll now run its motor for a while, burn out, and then glide all the way down to the target. Of course, our F-16 buddy right here has uh, got to get himself a lot lower if he's actually going to be able to succeed at getting close to this thing without it getting a second shot off. All right, so we're coming in with the harm now. Flying in, flying in. Oh, we're getting an illuminator warning. That means it's trapped. There's the next missile. I don't think you're going to hit my arm. You can try. Yeah, that harm is going to come right in and land right on your roof here. Now, notice my harm is starting to slow down as it gets to the thicker part of the atmosphere, and bam, right into the guidance radar. That thing is toast. Notice my F-16 buddy, by the way, knew that the guidance uh, stopped tracking there. She's coming back around, and I'm going to go ahead and have him have a fun time with people on the ground here. All right, you can go ahead and engage at your leisure, sir. Engage at your leisure. He's got to run to the end of his unit, and here comes a bunch of JDAMs. Nice. Oh, didn't kill it. Well, if that's going to be the case, then I'm going to order you to use your cannon and finish your job here. Air to ground strafing. Yes, please. By the way, you can save your templates now. So if you have a certain system you use every single time, just keep coming back to it and I'll reset it each time. And again, your uh, little modes here, this is super fun and it will definitely be a video probably next week because it's so cool. All right, we'll slow down. We'll take a nice big old uh, arc and turn here. And this is when the whole plane starts buffeting. It goes, just one of those things and you come ripping down here. Um, I thought I asked you nicely. You have a gun. You can use that. Uh, he claims to be a Winchester here. Okay, fine. Be that way. Be that way. All right, you're about to get burped. He's got to get nice and low over the ground here, 400 feet above ground level. He's going to do his pop. Well, I would do a pop-up at this point. Let's pop up to 1,000 feet. Pops up. Pull, whips himself upside down. Burst fire. Ooh, that was a miss. All right, so hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, I had a bigger video as far as explaining a bunch of the new things in this new version. But unfortunately, I ran into a couple things, but I've already posted a bug report on it to make it a little bit easier. And uh, obviously, going forward, we'll take a look at those different modes as far as intermediate and continuous emission. And it should be very, very interesting. Like I said, there's a new fun thing in here called a sonar computer. I mean, like, where did that come from? But like I said, that'll definitely be something to do another day. Enjoy.